It is an honor to open this World Water Day 2012 event. Due to population growth and economic development, cities and industries will demand more water. By 2025, two-thirds of the world's population could be living in water stress areas. Even within the agricultural sector, competition for water resource is already intensifying. And we see this playing out in the debate over biofuels. But there are also important implications for regional and global stability. Unless we increase our capacity to use water wisely in agriculture, we will fail to end hunger and we will open the door to a range of other ills including drought, famine, and political instability. Food security indeed has been very high on the international agenda. Since the peak food prices of 2008, population growth, urbanization, development pressure have also contributed to food and water scarcity. L'accès à ces ressources rares, l'accès à ces besoins essentiels que sont l'eau et la nourriture sont un droit qui confère euh, et dont le respect confère dignité et sécurité. For more than two decades now, IFAD has worked with farmers to change their farming practices, to introduce micro-irrigation, to improve on traditional water harvesting methods, such as digging traditional planting pits before the onset of the rains, and to nurture native trees and plants that lock moisture and nutrients into the soil. We are working uh, in, uh, in uh, cooperation with FAO in some program also, including uh, the water resources management. We have uh, some uh, pilot uh, project uh, with uh, a very interesting result uh, in China where the water resources uh, are uh, really affected by the pollution. What are the ministries of water for the African Council are doing today to provide solutions? We are able to have uh, people have access to water and not just water, clean water for both home consumption and also for food security for agriculture. Recoge el premio el señor Leo Saldana, que es el coordinador del Grupo de Apoyo del Medio Ambiente de Bangalore de la India. Recoge el premio y hoy nos acompaña Elsa Sánchez, que es la directora ejecutiva de la Fundación Sodis de Cochabomba, Bolivia. Con nosotros, Elsa. I'm honored to be here, to have been invited here today in my capacity as Goodwill Ambassador for FAO to take part and to attend this observance of World Water Day. Although, of course, I'm not an expert, I can clearly see the water security is closely linked to food security and that we all have a responsibility to ensure optimal use of every drop of this most precious resource. So one of the lessons I've learned through my collaboration with the United Nations is that the well-being of each of us is linked to that of everyone else. We are all responsible in some measure for one another's welfare 
and that global solidarity is both necessary and possible. Envie au-delà du jour jusqu'à la nuit, on s'entraîne 